for another video or if you're new to the channel then hi my name's Amber and in this particular video it's just going to be more so like a little speed build um, so this is just a um, like ready-made lot here in San Sequoia um, and I chose it because it said that it had four bedrooms, two bathrooms. And if you watched the previous video, then you know that, um, our family consists of a husband and wife and there are four quadruplets. So I needed something with several bedrooms. Um, so I got that with this. Um, I really just didn't want to take the time to build something completely from scratch. Um, because I really was anxious to get to the gameplay. So, um, that's exactly what I did. I just went ahead and got this house. It was big enough. And honestly, it wasn't a bad looking house. It's got enough space for, for the purposes that we need it for and the story we're trying to tell. And, um, I didn't do anything to the exterior because, um, by the time I got done kind of redecorating everything on the inside and making it look somewhat like what I wanted it to look like, um, I only had like a thousand simoleons left. So... Um, it was more important for me to make sure that the inside looked exactly like I wanted it to because let's face it with four uh, infant quads I don't really see us going outside much where the outside of the house really matters um so yeah I just kind of went through I was gonna just use growing together to furnish uh, everything but then um, I found that I didn't really care for the the color swatches too much in this pack which was kind of surprising I don't know if maybe they were just a little like more muted than I thought they would be or what I think the most fun I had with any item in this pack was with the rugs um, because I like the variations and the color schemes that were on them um, and the the chair that I end up using here in the living room was kind of cool too but just kind of overall like the color scheme that they went with for the um the different objects I wasn't really the biggest fan of um I mean I made it work so I can't complain too too much but it definitely uh, isn't my favorite interior that I've ever done um and that might be because I was too busy focusing on trying to make sure that I had everything that those infants needed. And I was like, I didn't know what to expect yet because I hadn't watched any actual like gameplay footage. Um, I did watch like the trailer and stuff, but nothing like in depth, like, hey, this is what you can look forward to. This is what you need to have in your house, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I did feel like a little bit lost in terms of what I absolutely needed to have versus what I just kind of wanted to have. Um, but I think I ended up finding a bit of a balance. Um, the kitchen and living room area, I'm going with kind of like a red tan color um, just because I really enjoy that kitchen set right there. And then the other rooms are all kind of specific to to the babies so one room has two cribs for the girls the other room has two cribs for the boys and then here um and like whatever this little I guess you could say like fourth bedroom is I really didn't think that it was necessary to have a whole nother crib like downstairs so I just went ahead and put another changing table which was really dumb of me because as I finished this and started actually playing, I recognized that you really don't even need the changing table. It's really just for appearances because now they actually drop dirty diapers and dirty bottles on the floor. So that was kind of exciting to see for the first time because that's not the way that it's always been done. Um, so yeah, it was definitely, it was intriguing. I won't complain just because, I mean, I'm still excited about the pack and everything that it has to offer. Um, but I really think it's kind of pointless to have the changing tables if, you know, you have the option of just leaving dirty diapers everywhere. Um, so yeah. Here I'm just kind of randomly putting a thing or two in the rooms to kind of breathe a little bit more life into them. I didn't want them to be super plain Jane, but I also didn't want to spend too much time working on the house because I really wanted to just get into gameplay. Um, oh. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's now officially like after 2 a.m. And yeah, I'm definitely exhausted. So I'm going to 
go ahead and leave this particular video here. There's only a little bit left in terms of furnishing. Um, and yeah, the next video will be um, part one of us actually like playing the LP, which I'm extremely excited for. So if you enjoyed this little bit of a speed build, a very miniature speed build, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Show a little love because, well, you know, it's free. And until next time, positive vibes, french fries, and take care of your infants. Bye!